Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are going to be making some smoke bombs with very simple ingredients. So for this project you will only need a few things. The major ingredient first of all is KNO3, also known as potassium nitrate. Um, this is sometimes found at hardware stores as stump remover. Just look it up. I'm in Canada, so I had to buy this online. And you will also need some white table sugar, some crayons or wax, some fuse, and to make it, you will need a stove and a pan. The key to making a good smoke bomb is to measure the correct amount of ingredients. Now, do this by weight, not by volume. So I've already pre-done this. So first, in this container here, you will need potassium nitrates. Potassium nitrate, sorry. So I have 60 grams of potassium nitrate. Next is sugar. I have 40 grams of sugar. And in this box here is the wax in the form of colored crayons because crayons make cool colors as well. So you will need 30 grams of crayons. I have all blue crayons here for a cool effect. First step is to melt your crayons over the stove. So just heat up your uh, pan and put the crayons in. As you can see, they melt nice and easily. And as you can see here, I am doing it in my basement just because it's snowy outside. But you can do it outside using one of these portable stoves because being as though we're making something that is flammable, um, if it gets too hot over your stove, there's always the possibility it will catch on fire and uh, ignite a little earlier than you would like. So, I'd recommend doing it outside or in somewhere where if it goes off, it won't be that bad. Um, I still want to be responsible for you burning your house down, that's all. So wait for the crayons to fully melt. While the crayons are melting, take your sugar, put it in a bowl, and potassium nitrate, put it in a bowl as well, and stir, mix it up really well. Some people put this in a blender to make the granules finer, easier to melt, but I just, something in there, I just mix it up in a bowl just like that and make sure it's all nice and mixed. So now our crayons have completely melted, as you can see, nice little blue wax thing. And we are now going to add the mixture of potassium nitrate and sugar, just in the bowl like that. So, I'm going to turn it down just to medium heat here to prevent accidental burning. And keep stirring it so it doesn't get too hot in one spot. And as you can see, the sugar and potassium nitrate will absorb the wax. Make sure to scrape off the sides and scrape it all into one pile in the middle. Give it a good stir and keep melting it until it all combines and it'll look around like a peanut butter type substance. So here it is all mixed in, but it's a little bit granularly still, like crystallized kind of. So I'm gonna keep melting it until it turns a little more smooth. So here's the final solution. As you can see, it is nicely mixed. Obviously it didn't catch fire, but it is just as good as you need it. Now, to make the actual smoke bomb, I have a piece of tin foil, and what we're gonna do is simply pour the mixture into a little ball in the middle of the tin foil. Like so. I may have grabbed a little bit too small of a piece of tin foil. I didn't realize how much I made. Well, we're gonna have a big smoke bomb today, guys. And to finish it off, put your wick in it. Not your wick, sorry, your fuse, much cooler. And crumple it all up just like that. Let's go test it out. Here we are outside testing the smoke bomb. It's right there in the little patch of no snow. I'm gonna go light it and hopefully it works.
Getting some good smoking action. And wow, yeah, that's uh, it's not bad. Maybe I'll get some zoom in for you guys. Oh, it is now catching fire. All right, so this is a little crazier than I thought it would be. It's kind of hard to see in the cloudy day, but it's pretty crazy if you can hear that. The smoke's now dying down. On my camera here, I can see it's around a minute later, which is absolutely crazy. Listen to it crackling. Wow, pretty cool. It's probably pretty hot too. That's, I'm just putting snow on it. All right guys, well, that's how to make a smoke bomb. That was a lot more smoke than I thought it would be, but uh, still pretty cool. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.